Hey everybody. So we just finished digging ourselves out of the great blizzard of 2022. We had 27 inches of snow in our driveway. So it took us a little while. Today I'm bringing you this stone that I made and I had it ready to go before the blizzard, but being what it was, I, had, I didn't have time to get it finished. So we're going to be doing this three inch stone that was made with rapid set cement all and in mold from the Happy Darden Company. I have the video down below uh, how I make my stones so you can take a look at that. So it's a three inch stone and I'm base coating it with the palmetto and we're going to layer two other colors on top using sponges. I'm just using a, a cosmetic sponge that I, I cut in half and um, you can use anything that you have, any kind of sponge that you want. So we're going to be adding some electric green, which is this bright green color. I mean, electric lime, I always call it. I'm gonna mess up my colors, I do all the time. So that's why I put the pictures of them in the front. So that was electric lime, and this is gecko. And my house was very dry at this time. It was drying immediately. You don't want it to do that. You really want it to stay wet. So this is a lengthy process it's not something that you're going to do in five minutes resolve yourself to sitting down and pouncing and pouncing and shading and changing until you get it where you want this actually took me quite a while again my house is very dry so that was against me so don't let this discourage you i hope it doesn't and um, I hope you will also reach down, hit that subscribe button and set your little bell to go off so that when I do put up more videos, you'll be notified right away. And uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun. This is a little tiring, um, this part here, but it's so, so worth it. But I finally, finally got it to where I liked it. And this is what I have. So I'm starting out by putting a, a fairly large dot in the center. It's probably about 10 millimeter or so. I'm not gonna get too hung up on, on sizes here. You can see what I'm doing. It's gonna depend on whatever you're using uh, as, as a substrate. I'm using a three inch stone. You may be using a five inch stone or a two inch stone. So we're gonna have to make the adjustments for that. Okay, so around that I put eight small evenly spaced dots for the first row. Then I came back with a little bit larger tool and placed eight more evenly spaced dots right in between those first eight. So I have two rows of eight, the first one being smaller and then a little bit bigger. Now with saffron yellow, I'm doing the same thing. Um, the size of the tool is basically the same as the second row. So I'm placing eight more dots right above, actually right above the first row. Now I want to put four corner dots and I'm using a larger flat tool that fits in between two of those saffron from below. And then continuing with the saffron, I'm walking uh, a couple of dots down from the top to the saffron dot from the row below. It, I'm not explaining that really well, but you're gonna, you can see what I'm doing. So I'm putting a, top, a dot right on top of the large one and then I'm walking them down to the row below. Now I'm using some banana cream and I'm making some large swishes. Now I wanted to go from the uh, inner right down into the center and I got a little over anxious there and I put my hand right through my paint so I'm cleaning it up, showing you how to clean it up. Nothing, you know, nothing's lost here. Just clean it up dab back some color to bring it back to where I had it or close and then just fix my boo-boos. Now when I come back to put my banana cream in I go the wrong way here and um, when I get done putting these swishes in I'm looking at it and I'm saying this just doesn't look right. I didn't intend to do two uh, swishes when I started but I work on the fly I don't plan so I just rolled with it and went back and put um, to, uh, some swishes on both sides and they don't have to be all the same size you can see that I have some big some small some are making it all the way down the bottom some aren't I don't like everything to be perfect I really like the organic 
look. Okay, now with a nice full amount of poppy orange, now I'm going to call this poppy orange, I'm going to call it orange poppy. This is what I'm using. This is the only orange or poppy that I'm using. And I'm making four large long swishes from the outside into the center. And with a smaller tool, I'm coming in on the opposite way and putting four smaller ones, one on each element. So just put a little paint and just drag it in towards the center. Now I'm using a compass, um, one of those cheap compasses, and a chalk pencil. And I'm just using this for a base, something to help me uh, hold my pencil straight. And with my chalk pencil, I'm just drawing random lines. I'm going to draw, I think it's four lines here. This line and the next line are random. There's no reason for where I'm putting them. Uh, I do this all the time. I just put lines in. Sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't. I'm putting one around the top center there. And that one, I, I almost always put one there. And then later on, I'm going to put another one around the base, which is another line that I almost always do. All right, so going around the top center there, um, top ring, try to lay out an even amount of dots. It doesn't matter the size too much. You just want to have an even amount. If you don't have an even amount, it's not going to be a big deal. You just won't be able to do the every other top dot that I'm going to show later. You'll have to do it on all of them. I'll explain that when we get there. Continuing with the white, you're just going to put a little bit larger of the dot underneath, and then you're going to put a smaller one above. And then with my skewer, I am using white again, and I'm just walking a series of dots in from the little uh, poppy orange swish on the right, and I'm bringing that in towards the center. And then I'm also just putting some white dots in between the saffron. And I just laid down that bottom uh, guideline, that bottom guideline. Now that one, the, that's where I want my finishing element. I know I don't want to go any further than that. So now if you have an even amount of dots here, you can do every other one like I've done here and put a poppy orange off center top dot facing up towards the center. If you have an odd amount, you won't be able to do every other one. So just go ahead and either do them all or don't do any of them or put different colors, whatever you want to do. And then with white, I put an off-center top dot facing in on the saffron. And on the white center dot, I put the saf uh, saffron center top dot. Now with the poppy orange, I went around and I put a little dot underneath every other one of the white dots from the first round. Now this element is hard to explain, but it's really easy to see what I'm doing. I'm putting a, uh, a yellow dot, a daffodil dot on the top of every other white dot, and then I'm putting one on the bottom of every other. And then I'm going around putting a daffodil dot in between each of those dots and then connecting it. So it looks like a, a Z or a backwards S or a two. <laughs> it's easier to look and see what I did. Now with the poppy orange, I've put off-center top dots on the second row of white going around the center and also on the white from the four larger corner dots. Now you're going to pick a tool that is big enough to cover all of your swishes except for the little yellow one on the side. If you do cover the little yellow one on the, on the left, that's not a problem. It, it's no big deal. Mine worked out where it didn't, so that's the only reason why I'm bringing it up. And then I put a white top dot, off-center top dot on top of the poppy orange and the saffron. And a little white swoosh on the right-hand side of the poppy orange large swoosh. And I'm walking a series of little dots down in between the banana cream and the um, poppy orange. Now just to bring a little depth to the top there, I want a little interest, I just put some white uh, little swishes right on top of the poppy orange. And with white, 
and my skewer, I'm doing some little off-center top dots on the poppy orange around the center top ring. And that just brings the eye up to the center. And down around the bottom here, I just went back in and did the same thing I did before, only I used the saffron. And with the electric lime and the palmetto, or is that gecko? That might be gecko, I don't know. I did some swooshes in between in the center there. Now using the white metallic pearl, pearl white, I'm going to be doing a series of top dots. And um, on the center, I'm doing some fairly uh, good size uh, white pearl top dots. And I'm also doing them around the center of the first ring that we did. And now I'm using hologram. Hologram is very, it's milky going on, but it's going to dry clear. It's going to dry uh, sparkly. It's going to be a little hard to tell what I'm doing here, but I did this, the center saffron dot. And I'm doing all of my swooshes in hologram. The smaller of the um, white dots around the top ring in hologram. I'm doing pretty much all of the elements in hologram except for the white pearl ones. So now I'm doing a row around the edge uh, of palmetto. Doesn't matter what size dot or how many, just put them. And I've followed that underneath with a row of white and then electric lime, another row of white, some gecko, palmetto, And finally, with a skewer in between the last row of palmetto, I'm doing little tiny white dots. And I'm also putting the same little uh, small dots on the top, uh, right above the first row, right in between the, the dots of the first row. And because it was looking so flat and um, it needed something, I'm using the poppy orange, and again with the skewer, and putting it in between each row of the white. Like I'm trying, I didn't know what I was going to do over here where I'm putting the poppy orange on the bottom of the green. So if I were going to do something a little bit larger, I had to find the smallest spot where I was going to do something in order to make sure that everything was going to fit. And so because I had not much room, I went with the little poppy orange top dots. Otherwise, it would have just been too cramped. I'm going around and on top of the rest of the whole center row on all of the colored dots, I'm putting some hologram. And on the white dots, I'm putting pearl. So you see that these some of these dots are a little uneven, but when I put the pearl white on top of them, they're evening out, so they all look a little bit um, neater. Now, I knew I was going to be doing this if I didn't, if I would have gone back with just the plain white and um, evened them out. You see that sparkle in there? It's so pretty, isn't it? And finally, the last thing I did was I went in between that top row again and I just added pearl white on, on top of the white again just, just to fill it in. It was looking very uneven to me. So I hope you like this. If you have any questions or any comments, please put them in the comment section below. I read them and I will get back to you. Until the next time, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and hit that bell.